Hey guys, how you doing? T-Pro back again, playing another game of Halo, and already we got Gold Rush 72 trying to steal my thunder. Get out of here, Goldie. And so, we're playing, what is this, High Ground, I think? Uh, it's been so long since I've played Halo, and it's just like, like I get back in the names. But automatically, I just go ahead and pick up that DMR and try to get those guys, like, trying to act like jetpackers, or whatever they call them, hell jumpers, I think, in the army. It's like, yeah, you're trying to be hell jumpers, and I'm going to shoot you down, get in that first blood. And I'm so jam-packed in this game. You know, my buddy just died right in front of me. But I pick up that triple kill. No worries, son. I saved you. I'm one of the four horsemen. You can see it right there. Anyway. Let's go to what I want to talk about in today's commentary. Um, I want to kind of talk about the systematics of how to play Halo. Now, if you've never played Halo before, there's almost like a certain way to play it. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. There's almost a certain way to play Halo. Which is like, if you're going to die, throw the grenade. Okay? And... Like, that's just, like, that's, uh, what was it, strategy number one, uh, that's tip number one. That's what you want to do. The other thing you want to do is pick up the DMR. Um, the, DR, the DMR in Reach is insanely accurate, insanely powerful. The one problem is that if you fire it too quickly, it's, it, then it, uh, the reticle expands and you don't necessarily get the shot that you need. Uh, it's a, it's a semi-automatic. But if you've ever played Gears of War, it acts like the retro, and I was waiting for you, son. It plays like the retro, in which case, uh, from Gears of War, if you want to be great with the retro, you have to fire it almost, like, sparingly. Because with the retro, the reticle will expand to almost inaccurate proportions. And the same thing with the DMR. If you shoot it quickly enough, then it's just not going to work. It's not going to function right. And I don't even know how I got that kill right there, but I pick up a double... Um, yeah, so that was one of the things that you just gotta keep in mind of Halo. If you're gonna die, throw a grenade. That's like your Mario Dunn. That's like, that's your last thing, that's your last stand that you gotta do against a guy. Because, you know, you're not gonna necessarily win a, a one-on-three battle unless if you're insanely good, insanely lucky, or you have some kind of power weapon. Uh, in Halo, in Halo 2 actually, you had the, what was it, the... BXR, I think that's what, what we called it, where it was like you could melee one guy, so w that got his shields down. Now, if you had this with, what was it, a battle rifle, then it was almost insanely, uh, this, this is almost like a one-shot kill in every time. So what you did was that you pressed B to melee, you pressed X to cancel, so it was like pressing YY in Call of Duty. And come on, get that snipe. Oh, headshot. You would press X to cancel, and then you would fire with the battle rifle, and that would be it. It would be uh, an instant kill for you, pretty much. I mean, everybody did it in Halo 2, and that's just what people did. Now, if you could uh, kind of master that trick, then you were good. Then you were on pace to do really well in the game. And double kill. Um, now, people say, like, oh, that's so stupid. That's so cheap in, in Halo, how you can just, you know, throw a grenade and, get it and kill me. Even but... If you think about it, that's kind of what Halo's always been about, was that, you know, yes, you can kill me, but you're not going to live long. I mean, if you're, if I'm not going to kill you, my teammates certainly are, because this is a very, these are perfect sized maps, and, oh, he's right there. These are perfect sized maps, and your teammates were always close to you. And, ooh, get assassinated, son, get down. I, like... Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this exactly, but just bear with me as I gather my thoughts. Halo and Call of Duty are so similar to where you each have your own little tips and tricks to try and get the upper hand in the game. And you can see it right there. That was a perfect example of what I said. My my teammate was uh, in armor lock. You know, he had a bit of a problem with the, with the players around him. So what do I do? I come in because I'm close to him and I just take both the kills. In Halo, it's not about your KD. It's not about trying to be the best guy there is. It's about winning the stinking game. And that's what I love about Halo. You play to win the game. Her med words, baby. You play to win the game. Now, yes, there are some issues with Halo that it's always had. But what game hasn't? I'm just going to say right now, it's certainly better than Call of Duty. In terms of the fairness. Because in Call of Duty... Oh, my gosh. In Call of Duty... You can go on a 20-man kill streak or whatever, and, you know, the one time you might actually die, you were thinking, I shouldn't have died, I was winning the stinking game, that's bullcrap, rage quit, I was so close to my Moab. In Halo, it's like, okay, I'm on a 20-man kill streak, 
okay, if I die, then what else is new? Because that's just what happens. You die, you die fairly in this game. You die often, but you die fairly. Um, you're just, it's a team shooter. It's much like Battlefield. You have to kind of uh, force the, the matches into your benefit. So what does that mean? That means that you have to work with your teammates. And that means that you have to uh, kind of pick your battles. Like, if you see one guy and he's got the upper hand on you, you can run away. There's no shame in that. Typically, what I do in that case is that I go and charge. I've always been a charging guy. I've always said that if I have the most kills on the team, then, I'm, then I haven't done my job right. I'm doing it wrong. If I have the most assists, then I'm then that's it. That's what I want. I want to have the most assists because if I have the most assists, that means that my teammates are doing their jobs, which uh, which that means by they're shooting the guys that I'm weakening. Uh, my efforts haven't always been for any, for nothing, and that's just kind of like that's what it is. That's what I have to do. I want to be that the first guy in and kind of weaken the enemy. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the game. Uh, I finished it fairly well, top of the lobby. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, guys. And please remember, like, favorite, and share, and subscribe. Game over. Austin, Austin. Austin. I'm going to send you a party invite and accept it.